Hey everybody, it's Wick here, and it's the weekend. Well, it's Thursday, and here in Ohio, that's when garage sales start. So, this video will consist of Thursday and Friday. Um, it's raining again. This is the third weekend in a row. Rain for garage sales, but let's go see what we find today. Hi. What do you have on the phone? Oh, ten dollars. Ten. Yeah. Is that one of the hearing mm -hmm. impaired phones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's never been used. Uh, we bought two for my father-in-law, and he just wanted one. But yeah, it is. And the little buttons you can put uh, instead of putting there, you put little pictures and program it to like pictures okay. of whoever. Yeah, it's pretty. Neat. Okay, everybody, I made it back home, and I'm going to show off the haul for today. Overall, a pretty good day. Um, the footage you just seen, I this is what I picked up. It was under cabinet radio, Sony, no remote. I just grabbed it for <clears throat> I thought it said five dollars. It actually I wanted to pay for it, it was twenty five dollars. So I'm like, yeah, I don't want this. She's like, well, make an offer. I'm like, well, the most I would do is ten. She's like, you can have it for ten. So haven't looked it up yet. I'm not sure if it's a higher end one or what. Um, some of them are like 69, 79, some are like 129, 139, so I just put that in the corner. Because I have 10% battery life right now, so I'm going to go through this quick, and I didn't really have time to look up some of the stuff, so I'll just do that later. I just wanted to get this recorded while it's downstairs. Um, also at that same sale, there's this Clarity phone. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I buy Clarity stuff because it just sells. What it is, it's like for hearing impaired people. She said it was new, never used. I opened it up, it had some pin marks on it. So obviously it's somewhat used, but I should be able to sell it for around $40 used. I ended up getting it for $7. She originally wanted 10. Um, probably should have asked five. She probably would have took it. She said she just wanted to get rid of things. As soon as I heard that, I knew I could have got that cheaper. But yeah, that was from that garage sale. Uh, at a Goodwill, a couple of different Goodwills, I picked up some ties. This is a Brooks Brother, Brooks Brothers, um, Brookgate. Uh, kind of looks lower quality. I hope it's real. I'm not sure, but for a dollar forty nine, I picked it up. And then a Robert Talbot tie. Uh, these sell from nineteen to thirty bucks. I mean, it just it just depends on the style and who wants it. I'll probably price it at like $29.99 best offer. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, this one just seemed nicer than most I see. It's like a two-tone, I think they call it. Like I, I'm still learning about ties. So $1.49 a piece, you know, I'll pick them up and should be able to make anywhere from five to fifteen, maybe even twenty on some of them. So not bad. Uh end up driving past a random rummage sale and it was at a Harley Davidson um, shop where they sell in motorcycles and like a dealership I guess it was what I'm trying to say it's a random rummage shop I, I walked in there and I'm like there's just motorcycles in here like where's the rummage sale and he's like, oh that's around back so I don't know why it was actually happening at that place but Went back into a, a little building back there, and these were sitting here. It's an 8-pack of the Sony Premiums. 
Got all these for five. Um, the eight pack there sells for seventy six dollars. So paid five will make about fifty five after fees. So <laughs> glad I stopped there. Anytime you see a sign, it's great to just freestyle it and stop and roll the dice and see what you find because it's an adventure every time you go out and do this. Um, consignment shop picked up a topsy turvy. Um, these are actually sold out right now on Amazon, so I'm probably price this one at twenty nine ninety nine. If when I send it in, it's still uh, you know no one else selling it. And I can't believe I found another Sony with remote. <laughs> um, Five ninety nine. This one's ranked twenty three thousand or something. I'm gonna list it for ninety nine dollars, and it's gonna sell. I hope it works. I uh, picked this up at Goodwill. It's a LCD color TV power pack. I didn't look up the power pack yet, but I did look up the remote, and the remote was selling for about 20 bucks on Amazon. So for $2.99, I figure it's worth some profit. Um, the power supply will probably be anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks too. So many power supplies are usually pretty good, but I may eBay that because I can't test a power supply for an LCD TV. So, um, I don't feel comfortable really sending it into Amazon. Uh, garage sale, this brand new in the wrap study, uh, life application study Bible. Can't beat that. It was free. I felt kind of bad taking it, I'm be honest. Because I'm sure they help, they put it out hoping, you know, somebody would find it and they'd read it and it would help them and stuff. So, they kind of was like, yeah, it's, it's free. I asked if it was free. And she's like, yeah, it's free for anyone who needs it I'm thinking well I kind of need to make some profits <laughs> so um, yeah I uh, I bought it for it'll be $19.99 on Amazon so good rank it'll sell I blind bought this pencil sharpener I don't know if it's new I'm assuming it's used if it's new I'll, I'll make like five bucks on it on Amazon if it's used I may make a couple bucks it just depends. I haven't opened it. I just know electric pencil sharpeners can be great um, profit makers. I've sold one before for a Panasonic for about fifty. Um, stopped at a sale and they had P PS2 games. This was two dollars. Tales of Abyss. It's a better game. Going to add it to my collection. But there's a PS2 Slim controller. Looks like a generic memory card. The cables and everything for. Uh, for 25 I got the game and the PS2 for $20. Uh, they were selling between $60 and $70 on Amazon last I checked, but for $20 I'll pick it up. Double my money or make like $30. bucks. i am not sure. Um, this has got battery acid in it. Hopefully I can clean it. Haven't looked these up yet either. They were $0.99 cents at St. Francis. Both two Sony remotes. For $0.99 cents, usually a Sony remote at least sell for $10. So it was worth picking up. The service was so bad in there, it's just not worth trying to walk up to the front. For 99 cents, I'm just going to buy them. Um, this remote is probably pretty good. Or I can just save it, you know, for when I find a VCR that needs it. So 99 cents all day long, I'll buy Sony remotes. And finally, at a Goodwill, I got this Lifetone... Um, Fire alarm. I found these before at Goodwill used and a couple new over the past few years. I'm at 5% battery life, just got a notification. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this use, I should make about 50 bucks on it. New is 179. 50 to 70, I'm not even sure. It doesn't have the original batteries, but everything else is there, manual and everything. So, pretty good um, fine for it. It was 8 bucks. But overall, um, not bad for the day. It's been about eight hours out. Um, and uh, there's still tomorrow. So hopefully we can continue the profits. And, and we'll just start up tomorrow now.
All right, here we are with the second day of sourcing. It looks pretty pathetic, isn't it? Um, not the greatest day garage selling. There's only about five sales today. Um, just didn't find much, and Goodwills didn't pay out for me. So um, I will show you what I got. I made some money. But these clips here found at a Goodwill, uh, they're Nerf gun clips. They sell for about 30 to 35. I'm going to lot all five together for 30, 35 dollars. Uh, they're 99 cents a piece. But the interesting thing is, the same Goodwill where the girl's been giving us discounts, there was another girl there today, and she randomly just charged me 99 cents for all these. I don't know if it was a mistake. I don't know if it's just a rebel Goodwill where all the employees are disgruntled and they mark everything down. I don't really know, but. Hey, a dollar six after tax um, should make about twenty bucks after the fees and everything. I think so. Pretty good. Um, oh, I did get something at the garage sale. Uh, a couple things, but there's a Sony uh, Walkman uh, with the case. You know, after fees and everything, it's going to be about ten dollars profit. It's nothing major. Um, I got some fifty cent AV cables for use to bundle with a VCR or something. And then we stopped at a random sale. It's a big yard sale that we didn't even know was going on. Unfortunately, if we would have knew the day before, we would have went to that. But I found this game. It's Monster Seed. It's in a bit rough shape. It's going in the collection. It's a more rare PlayStation 1 game. Uh, the case is cracked. I'll replace the case. But I figured I'd pick that up. It was 2 bucks, and I got him to throw in this micro cassette recorder. I thought it was a... Uh, different model I thought it was worth about 75 bucks uh, it was had like water in it or something in the battery case <laughs> like where it rusted I cleaned it up a little bit you can still see some there but it was all over um, yeah he just threw it in with the game uh, so two bucks for both of them unfortunately this one is not worth as much but it doesn't matter because it doesn't work so um, <laughs> That's just unfortunate. But yeah, that's it. It's like some days can't all be home runs. That's why you just have to keep going through the grind and make stuff happen. For every bad day, you'll have, you know, 10 good days. So, but that's it. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Please like the video. And please leave me a comment. This has been Wick. Till next time.